First of all, you have, you know, Bela Fleck, Edgar Meyer, two of the greatest living musicians of the Western world, and uh, and two very, very fabulous maestros from India, which is Rakesh Chaurasia and, Neela, and uh, Srinivas Ji. And I'm in the middle, the only percussionist on, on the stage. So uh, I have the, the difficult job of being able to be the mediator among these four. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it because I have individually worked with all these musicians and they are all musicians of, of uh, you know, juggernautic uh, ability. So it is difficult to actually, you know, truly say what might emerge. But uh, w the way we got together, me and Bela Fleck and Edgar Meyer, was because we did this CD called Melody of Rhythm. And this was a, a CD that we composed music for, for a full symphony orchestra to play along with us. And also six small pieces for the three of us to play together. So that's how we started. We did not actually play before that. We first wrote music together and then started playing together. So it was an interesting way of beginning to understand each other because once you start learning to compose together, you get to know each other away from your instruments. So you have to communicate on various levels, whether you're sitting at dinner and you're talking about music or whether you're going for a hike and thinking about an orchestral part and so on. And, and you get to know each other's uh, you know, uh, temperament in that way. Uh, it's, improvisation is critical to the kind of music we're doing. It's a critical piece of it. Now, it might not be for a pop, pop artist, um, but for us, it's, it's very important. So trying to put everybody in a, in, in a state of mind where they're very, very at, at ease is sort of the big trick. So, so everybody feels comfortable enough to, um, to freely interact with each other. When you first meet, sometimes you're very cautious. You don't want to be too busy. You don't want to, you know... Ex, you know, expose yourself too much, uh, you know, um, and sometimes that's a mistake um, that you actually have to be, be somewhat forward and be prepared to be forward, but you also have to listen very intently to everyone around you. So um, it's a curious combination. So it's, it's, um, it's a balancing act. Well, it really depends on the individual because um, uh, different, uh, for some people, Improvisation is just the, the most natural way to be. And for some people, they're much more comfortable putting their thoughts together and presenting, presenting them in a, in a less spontaneous way. Um, the fun of improvisation is that um, I, I know that when, for, I'll, I'll take it outside of the music for a minute. Like if I'm making comments um, to an audience, if I think of something I haven't thought of before, my moment of discovery actually translates um, to the audience, and the chances of them connecting with it are much greater uh, just because it was new to me. But the music is interesting in the sense that you've got two pluck instrument. One is a banjo and one is a mandolin. And uh, they both have folk roots and uh, the bass is a classical instrument. He, he plays with a bow or with his fingers. So uh, when you talk about Rakesh Chaurasi, a flute, you have North Indian classical, you have Western classical, you have bluegrass, you have South Indian, you have uh, Indian, North Indian folk, South Indian folk, and then you have me playing not just the Indian repertoire of rhythms from the classical world, but also Latin, uh, Afro-Caribbean Afro or jazz elements that I will bring to the table. So having studied all those forms of music, so you have various uh, masalas on the table for different kind of continental, intercontinental, Asian, Southeast Asian, uh, Middle Eastern, whatnot kind of musical uh, concoctions that are going to emerge. So I'm looking forward to that.